but I shall mark open boxes complete. And we've got this rep GTK to install and librep. So let's download that. So another options just configure and make. Prep these two commands. And that's done. So let me mark that one off. That's thirteen. And now we can do rep GTK. So again, no extra commands to put in here, just run what the book tells us to do. And that's done. And that's general utilities. GTK so it should be okay to build sawfish now so again um there's no extra options, just configure and make as it appears in the book. Right, I've got an error. Error adding symbols, DSO missing. Right, we may need a LD config here. No, let's um, start again. And rebuild. No, it's still failing. So, um, what I should do is to remove this and run it as a single job. I'm just going to put the help up there as well in case there's anything else obvious. I'll 
optional packages. No, it doesn't seem to be. Let's run that again without the help. So look at these. Summaries here. Safe housing, housing flags. So it's got all the libraries it needs. It's found the X server. Be sure to read read me important. Okay, well let's read that then. see anything relevant there so let's make this as one job and see exactly where it fails colors.o undefined reference to g list model get type The GIO error adding symbols. DSO missing from command line. Um, not sure what that means actually. Oh, I suppose I could rebuild this package in case that's the problem. Um, well, there isn't anything called G libgio. Um, what I have to do is maybe put this in the browser Oops. and find out what package provides that. zero dot s high I can find the source of the GI Oh is it GDIB is it? Um, 
So if it's part of glib, let's look for glib then. No. So GTK plus two. Oh. Uh, Let's have a look at that one. No, that's not it either. Um, oh, let's try the index. GIO looks like it is Julib, but it didn't mention. Let's get that up again. Oh, it just says Julib libraries, that's why. Oh, here it is. LibGIO 2. So. Well, all these are installed, so I'm not sure why, if that is the issue. Error adding symbols, DSO missing from command line. Let's see what that error means. And this with sawfish, isn't it? seem to be anybody else having this problem so it does indicate that I've done something wrong or something has failed oh. starting by the keyboard again Let's try Julib in there instead. So this is suggesting missing a library. Um, right, what I might do then is try and install this without the with pango option. So 
let's reload the configure. Just try it without the with Pango. And we try the make. No, that's that's not the problem obviously. So I may have to rebuild Glib possibly. Uh, let's try the help again. Let's try one of these. Maybe. In fact, I should have done make clean then, make clean. Make. No, that's not it. Let's try without then. Cannot locate the IMLib one. Oh, IMLib one. I think we've got IMLib two installed. So that can't be it. And there's some influential environment variables. Let's check these are set then. That's not set, I'm not sure whether it's normally set or not actually. Doesn't look like it. Package compact path, let's see if that's set. Okay, there's some stuff in there. Whether that should be part of package config path, I don't know. But it doesn't look like there's anything related to what we're doing, so. Um, This is set. No. I think what I might do is do a complete reboot, get everything loaded as it would be normally, and see if that makes any difference. And if not, I think I'm going to have to um, rebuild at least GLib and maybe GTK 2 and possibly 3. So let's do a reboot.
So I'll just go back to TWM for the moment as the keyboard will work properly there as well. Um, right, so into sources BLFS. Start off with a brand new sawfish source directory. And let's try and run this again. Oh, okay, so it's still failing. Right, I'm going to try reinstalling glib. Um, it was there. With the LA files, would it? And I, I need to learn to find out what these things do. Um, let's try it. It's the last straw to get hold of. I should do is check the errata in case there's everything there. Right, that hasn't worked. Text doc, text live, IP tables, see plasma C monkey. No, there's nothing there. Reload this page. No. Right. So let's run in this patch. Let's look at configs. So all I need to do is to add in the documentation and do this properly with the dot dot. At the end of the meson command. And now one ninja. I'll spell it right. Okay, so that's complete. Let's reinstall it again. And I'm going 
gonna test it as well. Okay, so that's a complete pass. Um, so let's clear that up. And try sawfish once more. do this time is to examine the configure command carefully see if there's any clues there so let's go through and read what it says so it's using the GCC linker yeah. So it knows where the package config executable is. I thought that might have been a problem, and it's not. It's using Pango. It's not using KD4 or 5. No, this is something like that. It needs to be told not to use GNOME. That might be a possibility. Um. So let's put in, let's explicitly specify these on the configure line in case it's being confused. It looked like it coped with the KDE 4 and 5. Didn't see anything about this Lumina session, but um, let's get rid of the known one first of all. See how that affects it.
Right, it's different in that the KDE hasn't come up and the no although the known prefix is there, the there's another line underneath it. Uh no there wasn't. It was just the only one. That but it's not fading now. Um, no prefix. Try that. No, it's still not having it. They're adding symbols. I don't know what DSO is. Data set object, maybe. I don't know. DSO missing from command line. So it's in the source directory by the looks of it. And it's trying to run this command here by the looks of it. I wonder if I did something like minus L forward slash user forward slash lib GIO. That's not there. Ah, that's interesting. Or is it not finding it? Lib GIO dash two dot zero dot SO. Okay, is there? Okay, so something about that file. Colors to O undefined reference symbol. So something about colors. Imagine if I remove that from this command. Something else will break. Cursors hasn't got it, so something these files need or well, being compiled as something that's not available GDFK picks buff. 
wonder if it's that one. Let's try reinstalling this one maybe. Although as it says there are many GTK plus applications require GTK Pix buff xlib. Yeah, I'll try and install this one again. Build this first. And I'm going to add in docs equals true because we've got GTK doc available and we've got Jasper installed as well. And just to double check, we have, yeah, there it is. So let's run make, uh, sorry, ninja. And ninja test. As a pass, sudo ninja inst install let's do minus a for what it's worth. And I'm gonna do an the config and let's retry sawfish once more. So that's where the colours gets built there. See what this bit they've got here says. P thread lib mount block ID glib two glib two include. P thread. So it does look like that's been included.
Chantel, Godchipped L, Chilib. Hmm, I'm a bit stuffed with this one. GIO
Right, yeah, it does seem to be there's a library missing. Because that's just compiled. So if I go back and run make again, see if it carries on. Yes, it has, oh, it's carried on until that far. Um, so let's try that again. With that command. Or am I running the same command again? I'm not sure. LGIO-2.0 See that seems to run Right, it seems like running that is, is causing something else to be rebuilt
Okay, so specifying that library seems to allow it to continue a little bit more, but then it fails with the looks of it. Or is it going to fail? No, it's actually completed, so I'm not sure why it's not correctly finding that file. Um, this is the point that where it fails is... Um, somewhere here it's this command here um, it's added in this LGIO it wasn't finding before uh, sorry this command here that's failing for some reason um, and it seems to allow it to build And it seems to do a lot of other stuff after that. And then it goes on to doing the documentation. So that's from this package here that this file, uh, sorry, this email here that this file was missing. Um, this is all to do with NLS stuff. I wonder if that would have made a difference or not. Let me try again. Make clean and just run configure. Uh, can't remember if it was configure help in case it's NLS related without NLS. I don't think it was. NLS, double check that again. Yeah, no, it's definitely not that, it is definitely that library. So, um, I'll build this right from scratch from fresh source. using this configure command here I'll just build it as normal all I've added that to this is this libs equals LGIO that's the bit it seems to be missing when it compiles itself yeah it seems to have carried on fine so I'll get rid of all these tabs Um, LXDM, I can get rid of these now, we're done with these ones. So that's a bit of a strange one, there's um, obviously maybe some configuration I've missed or something I've done wrong because I couldn't find any specific errors related to this. It's got to be something that I've done or maybe some combination of packages possibly. Unfortunately there's no test suite, that is unfortunate because I don't know for sure if what I've done is valid. But let's see if the install works. It could be this won't run. I have built Sawfish before and it's not run. I've, I've not really had much luck with it in the past. Uh, maybe, maybe it's just me, I don't know. Um, but anyway, that is it installed. So... Um, I'm going to close this down come out of this and I'm going to become the root and do init 5 to get the um, LXDM up and then I'm going to select Sawfish so there's three options here oh there's one on its own there, that's what we want Okay, yeah, it seems to work. It's the middle mouse button, or if you haven't got the middle mouse button, you can do left and right click at the same time, should bring it up. So it does seem to have worked. Again, this has got like a predefined. Or has it? No. 
it looks like it has found it knows what applications there are so that's something we built as extra I think when we did CMake same with QT5 these are all things that were built as extra so that's some sort of window layout design of the looks of it um, games these are the games I don't even remember these we tested I think it was at, um, FLTK I think it was yeah so can't resize this window but yeah you can see that works as it was before graphics Inkscape is there you notice there's no icons and it was I think this one was the one that said that you needed to actually specify the icon path so it would take a little bit of um, uh, configuration to set that up uh, graphics there's a scan image scanning one there obviously we haven't got a scanner so yeah looks like it's not loading um, internet have we got Falcon yeah we've got Falcon so that's obviously come up all right. Got an icon in the title bar, so that's good. Falcon, Wireshark, Vahi, yeah, that's working. Um. what else we've we got yeah there's all the other stuff in there these are all sound related stuff the looks of it or maybe, maybe they're programs it thinks it's found that aren't really there Sawfish config that tells you how to do the looks of it Got to double click on them. Yeah, so you can change the themes here. That's quite a nice one, the sort of thing that you'll never see in Windows, different size toolbars. So there's the bit to grab it to size it, and that is the toolbar there. So yeah, there's quite a few different themes there, quite interesting. I don't remember which one was the default one now. Quite like this one here. Let's try that one. Oh no, it's on the top one. Look quite a bit different. So anyway, that's um the trouble is I don't know how to close this down. Right, okay. So that's sawfish. I think it's the first time I've ever had that working actually. So that's uh quite good. So then it goes on to other window managers. TWM we've obviously been using up to now. Um, and there's this other one called Motif Window Manager. So that's it for this video. Um, I'll be moving on to installing some of the bigger um, window managers. I guess you could call them environments almost. Um, such as, well, I think there's two XFCE and LXDE, um, more like they're more like um, desktop environments, if you like, or yeah, they're more fully featured. 
rather than just uh, desk display managers and window managers. They've um, got more features, they've got their own packages which um, give, you know, like ap actual applications such as browsers and so on, which these window managers don't have. 